What is good, buddy? It is your boy Cal back with another DLC 14 video for you guys. Today we are here with a video that I honestly didn't think I was going to make before the DLC dropped, but now that the DLC is here, it's in my hands. I can test it for myself. I just got to share how bad Dispose Awoken skill is. Very well may be the very worst Awoken skill in this game. So what we're going to do in this video is take it into training mode, test it out, show the stat increases, all things along those lines, and really break down why I don't think this is a good Awoken in any way, shape, or form, and honestly could be the very worst Awoken skill in the game. Like, y'all thought Super Saiyan Blue Evolution was easy or hard to maintain? Wait till you see what we're about to showcase with this man's dispo. Now, before we get into it, YouTube is letting me know only about 50% of you guys are subscribed, so if you are not subbed to the channel, be sure to do so, as well as hitting that like button and turn on a notification bell so you know when every video does go live but with that being said let's jump into the training mode and showcase this awoken and show why i feel the way i do about it a few moments later all right y'all here we are in the training mode now what we're gonna do first and foremost is firstly go over the stat increases that this uh transformation gets secondly we're gonna take a look at the speed and then thirdly we're gonna truly talk about why i don't feel that this awoken is good at all so first, let's take a look at the damages, guys. How much damage increase you're going to be getting when you use supersonic mode. So first, we're going to take a look at an all-heavy combo in base form. And this combo is doing 3,832 damage. Now, when we transform, we're going to do the exact same combo to see how much percent it increases in terms of its damage. So now, we get a total damage of 4,404. That's actually a 15% increase from initial base form right there. So that's not a bad increase by any means. 15%, it's okay. Not good with how some transformations are getting 20, 25%, things like that, and even more with Super Saiyan God, but not bad by any means again, right? So now let's take a look at Justice Kick. Justice Kick in this form is doing 2,738. So once we detransform and use the skill, it's doing 2,490. The percent increase right there is a 10% increase. So strike skills are getting a 10% increase with this Awoken skill right here. Now the only way to determine key base skills is by using full power energy blast volley, which means you do have to involve a knockaway. So when you involve a knockaway, you have to subtract that knockaway damage from the total damage to get the true percent increase of this skill. So we're going to do a knockaway, go into full power energy blast volley. And it's doing a total of 7,147. The thing is, though, the knockaway did 296. So when you do subtract that, you're getting 6,851 damage from full power energy blast volley in base form. Now we're going to do the same thing in supersonic mode to see what the damage increase is with this move. Now this time around, we are getting a total of 7,889. But again, got to calculate the, uh, the knockaway damage. That was 325, which is going to give you a total damage of 7,564, guys. So the percent increase on that is 10% as well. So what you're looking at with this skill in terms of percent increases is a 15% increase to your base, a 10% increase to your uh, strike and key base attacks. So the damage increases are not the greatest in the world. The really, the best part about this Awoken is the actual movement. Like, you can almost feel like you're kind of glitching because you're moving so fast in this mode. Like, this is by far the fastest transformation in the game, bar none. Like, it's really not even close. You move extremely, extremely fast when this Awoken is active, without a doubt. Like, just moving base and normally, it really seems like I'm moving pretty damn fast just like this alone. So you do get a major speed increase at the same time with this Awoken skill. And for anybody who may be saying this, because I did see someone in the stream yesterday when we were testing this in stream, taking a look at it, people, some people were saying that it gives you more defense, like you get a better defensive stat when you do awake, uh, awaken to this skill right here. That is not true at all. I don't know who put that information out there, but you do not get a defensive boost in any way, shape, or form. We did test it in the Twitch stream yesterday, and it was not the case. So now, now that we've tested the speed, the damage increases, and all things like that. Why is this Awoken so bad? Let, let's talk about that. Let's put our stamina, though, to normal so we can really see why this Awoken is truly just awful, in my opinion. So, we're going to transform, right? Now, take a look at my stamina. We knew it was going to drain stamina, but it drains stamina at a pretty damn fast rate of speed y'all now another thing i believe trunks shining slash is set to super attack 
two. That's what I'm going to hope for. Because I need him to use this because we're going to vanish. And I'm going to show you how much a vanish costs. A vanish does not lose any stamina in terms of cost. It is still two bars. So this transformation, it's like, it's like Kaioken. If you didn't get that stamina uh, glitch thing or whatever it's called. Where you don't really lose stamina when you teleport or use uh, stamina vanish. You don't really lose much at all when you use Kaioken, right? Y'all saw we lose a full... A full two bars of stamina when you when you uh vanish with this form right here. And then also when you do get stamina broken, it's not like you can move crazy fast or anything like that, but it's almost like a heavy stamina break in a sense. Like seriously, watch what happens again when we get stamina broken this next time. I'm gonna have trunk stay in super attack too. I'm gonna transform right here and basically vanish each and every single time he hits me until we are able to uh what's it called? Until we are able to basically be stamina broken. Watch what happens when we stamina, once our stamina gets broken though. It almost acts like you got heavy stamina broken in a sense. Watch. It should happen pretty much... Oh shit, why was I drifting back? Like, Dispo so fast that he avoids Trunks' shining, sl shining slash just drifting back. But you see, Dispo gets tired. He goes into like a heavy broken stamina state for a quick second. So the, the reason that is bad is because sometimes you can do things like this. You know, you can get out the way just by going up and down. Some people may not may have a little bit more of a difficult time to catch you initially on a stamina break or something like that. And that little bit of time that you are wasting on your opponent where they're not catching you can be very, very helpful in the end. That is not the case when you stamina break with this Awoken skill. You have no chance of getting away because, again, you're basically stamina broken like a heavy stamina break with this skill right here. So overall, man, it is a trash version of kyle ken in my opinion like that's what it truly is in my opinion a very trash version of kyle ken because not only are you getting a constant stamina drain but you vanish and you still lose two bars do you know how hard that is going to be to maintain in an online setting especially since you have you have no way no way of getting your stamina back also with this skill i do think that it actually drains faster when you're in the air, I mean on the ground as opposed to in the air. Let's take a look at it real quick and I want you guys to let me know down below in the comments if I'm bugging on that or not. The Twitch chat said I was not bugging. Let's take a look at it on the ground right here, right? And then I'm going to go back into the air. And I have it zoomed in so you guys can get a real good look at this. Now we're back in the air. Did the stamina change at all in terms of the depletion? Because I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like it's a bit slower when you're in the air as opposed to on the ground. Let me know if I'm bugging down below in the comments when it comes to that. But again, there is no way to get stamina back while you're in this form. And it's not like Dispo is a CAC that could put on a skill um, that could actually give him stamina back. Because there are some skills in the game where you can get stamina back, but that is not the case with Dispo. Like, if this was on a CAC, it might be a little bit manageable with a certain kind of build or something along those lines. But on a cast character, where you are set with the skills, set with the Super Soul, this is just a, a, a not a good awoken skill in any way shape or form in my opinion it's honestly a bit disappointing because i was very very excited for this awoken when it did get announced but it just it again from what you guys saw in this video I, I pretty much think that everyone can agree it is not really pvp viable in any way and i don't really even see it being pve viable because one why are you going to use this boat in pve first of all and then two if you are using this bow and you do go into supersonic mode it's not like you're getting crazy stat increases or anything along those lines like the negative for this awoken much 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 more outweighs the positive of the awoken without a doubt like it's not even really close in my opinion so let me know what you guys think about this awoken skill down below in the comments do you agree that it is pretty much the worst awoken in the game at this point in time like the only awokens that i would say are worse are power pole because i just don't even consider that to be an awoken skill like literally if that awoken skill one shot at everybody when you used it i still wouldn't consider it to be the best i would still say it's the worst because it's not even a goddamn awoken you got me floating on the damn cloud what the hell is that i'm just saying and then secondly, I think that it it is very, I don't know, Giant may be a better transformation overall, especially if you have the Super Soul rocking with it, than this right here, to be honest with you guys. So it may very well be the worst Awoken skill in this game besides Power Pole Pro, because again, that's not an Awoken skill. So let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. Do you guys think this Awoken is trash? Do you agree with the things that I said in this video? Do you disagree with some of the things that I said in this video? Let me know all that down below. But till next time, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, hope y'all have a good one. Peace, y'all.